Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! All wings! Hello everyone, this is Foolish Beer. I just came up with this idea out of the blue to do a tips and tricks video. So we're going to be doing a tips and tricks video for how to use the assault trooper. Most important part, pick a weapon, pick a weapon, any weapon, a good weapon that will suit your style. I like the A280 because it has medium range, high DPS with its three blast bursts, and I like the improved cooling and range mods. They're pretty generic. Sometimes I do EL-16 HFE if that suits me. But if you can't decide on a weapon, always just start out with the default. But I know what weapons I like. Pick some good cards to make sure they complement each other and your weapon. I have the Killstreak Vanguard because I, I just love those long... I love those runs. Like, that's, that's a lot of fun. Um, it also is to sort of counteract my rifle, which I'm supposed to use more like a long-range weapon. So the idea is to have a weapon for any occasion. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Also, forgot to mention that I can use Toughen Up to protect myself and Thermal Detonator to take out large groups of enemies. So let's go. When you equip star cards, it's important to envision how you want to see them in action. And that is perfect execution of using your abilities right there Just like that. What you have just witnessed is a perfect example of equipping the right cards to your trooper and seeing them used in perfect action. Oh, what? I may have just made a cheeky mistake. Ah. Uh. And that's another thing. Don't do stupid things like I just did. I just got lucky the first time, I'll tell you that. The most important part of your abilities is knowing when, where, and how to use them. Like, what even was that? Oh, explosive sentry. That's like the number one thing that kills me the most. So, I usually... Like, I've done some pretty epic dodges of Explosive Sentry, but today's not my day. But maybe today is. Maybe, or... Maybe the last 43 minutes weren't my three minutes. Throwing. Let's, let's take the offensive. And, the most, and you can also know your playstyle. My playstyle is very aggressive with my Toughen Up and Killstreak Vanguard used together. They're very good abilities used to use together. Sometimes I also like to toss in a detonator or something. But you always want to stay focused. Always know what your target is. And have a place to take cover. If you need to. Whoops, missed. Oh, flip. This ought to take care of them. I think I missed up. No, I have some damage. Ooh! That's gonna be a difficult place to take back. So, I am gonna run around here. And have my teammates help. Good grenade throw. Also, use different weapons and target different enemies at the same time. This allows for total perfection. Like, a popular tactic of mine is when I charge with the Killstreak Vanguard, I throw my detonator to enemies in the back while I can kill an enemy at the front. It's one of my favorite tactics. I yell, shooting them good too. Darn it! This is why Explosive Sentry is such a darn good ability. They probably shouldn't have it. 
Maybe they will. What do you think EA will do about Explosive Sentry? Do you think they should do anything? Let me know in the comments. And pretty soon I'll give you the answer to the age-old question, why am I so amazing at the Kill Street Vanguard? I'll tell you why. It's the Kill Street Vanguard. I think my favorite thing about it is that it keeps replenishing its time while, as you defeat your enemies. Oh, flip. That was a close call. And then my teammates arrive. This will flush them out, and then I'll charge in. Except that didn't do anything. Vanguard would actually do pretty well here, but it's in recharge. Yeah, mind your abilities. That's another thing. Mind your abilities recharge. Oh well, at least my kill streak Vanguard is out of recharge. Would you? These stormtroopers are easy to shoot, but they're not bad either. I'm just bad. Look. Now, an important lesson here. The power of the Vanguard is ability is just sheer speed. Because whenever you do a kill streak Vanguard, the, your lifespan is literally measured in seconds. And so is your enemies. It's a high-risk, high-reward maneuver, but you can do a few things to minimize the risk. First thing, don't ever stop moving. Always be on the move when you're doing this. The reason being, because you're harder to you're harder to hit. Combat roll, and just go from one enemy to the next as fast as you can, because it only takes because when you're in these situations. It takes half a second, or less, for an enemy to spot you and shoot you. So speed makes all the difference. Now I'm going to put all these principles into action. See? That was a successful run. I think I slipped up though. Can you spot where? Let me know in the comments. Alright, I'm just gonna stop talking for a while and just shoot. Watch out. Watch how I use what I told you. Let's see if you can implement it in this game as well. Okay, we have 68 kills remaining, 123 troops. Uh-oh, enemies behind us. It's in a tight corridor. Let's take them down. Let's talk about when you should use the Vanguard ability. So, the thing you have to understand is that it is a aggressive ability. You want to use it when people are near you, and you just want to wreck them. So, you should use the Vanguard when there's lots of tightly spaced enemies together. Sort of in the same way you would have done it. But, like, you, you can also do it to attack from behind, to hit hard. But whatever you do, don't just charge down a long corridor where your enemies will see you, because that gives them time to shoot you. 
Here's a good time way to use Vanguard. Like this. This is a perfect situation. It just smacks your enemies from behind while your friends go in from the front. This isn't really the best way to do it, but since I always have some cover to be behind, I can make it work. Actually, no, I can't. See, what did I say? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Watch out! The grenade is pretty self-explanatory, you just use it to take out large groups of enemies. Different grenades can do different things. Maybe I should make a video on how to make how to use all the other trooper classes. Maybe you'll find this slightly interesting. Broke the number one rule of Vanguard. Never stop moving. And that's probably why I died. You gonna shoot me? You have some nerve. Oh, flip! I gotta get out of here. Good use of toughen up to save my life. Now, let's give it let's give the imp some retribution. Vanguard right from behind, and we'll smash it. Like this. Not the way you were thinking, Smashing. I know how you people think. You're my fans. Oh, flip. I'm pinned down. Ah. Vanguard can be used as a defensive weapon, but that really isn't how it's supposed to be used. So keep that in mind. Oh, flip! That's a lot of enemies. This my grenade did a lot of damage. My allies are coming in from behind. I'm just distracted. One down. Ooh. I should have just did that. I don't know why I'm so stupid. Okay, the video's almost over. What do you think? Is there any way you think the assault or its ability should be used? What other abilities should I cover? Let me know in the comments. Nate out! Is there anything I did wrong that you can catch? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.